What's up everyone, this is Max 377 Once again with the guitar unboxing uh, I do have some shoes coming in So I'll do more shoe unboxings then But for now, you know, we got another guitar um, This one I just got, you know, to complete uh, My collection As you guys know, I got a lot of Jimmy guitars So this is uh, I just got this so I can complete Like all the Jimmy guitars So now I have like one of each model. I know some models like the Tele and the Strat, they have like two colors. Some are discontinued and whatever, but um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll find those discontinued ones like the the black uh, Jimber Tele and the white Jimber Strat. But other than that, uh, this officially completes my one of each model kind of thing, collection. So yeah, so what this is, you know, this is the black jazz master, the American jazz master. So without further ado, you know, we don't have to see the case no more. We've seen it a billion times. So let's just open this case up, you know, and take a look at the guitar and here it is. <clears throat> really nice, hold up, let me just, that thing is blocking. There you go. Really cool guitar. So you guys know, um, just a few weeks ago, I got the Jazzmaster V4, Mexican mate. So this one's American mate. So there's a few differences, you know, I think the overall specs is like, uh, the overall um, blueprint, I guess, like similar, you know, mahogany body, you know, one volume knob, you know, this three-way pickup selector switch, hard tail bridge, you know, string through body, uh, ebony board, maple neck, you know, it's locking tuners, you know, it's pretty much the similar specs, but the difference with the V4 is obviously, you know, now they got block inlays, and they got uh, binding and lumen lays, uh, dots at the, at the side, and of course, um, this Black Jazz Master comes in the EMG 8160 combo, Whereas the, the V4s now have uh, the Jim Redemonum signature pickups. So yeah, there's a few differences. I have it um, right here. So, you know, I'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison later. But yeah. So. Uh, oh yeah, another difference is this one is a compound radius, 12 to 16 inch. Whereas the, the Mexican one is like all 12. So yeah. So yeah, I've already... You know, I got this at the guitar store, checked everything. So we removed all the tags. So yeah, got like this free lesson, which I obviously need. And then the certificate. <clears throat> of course, the case candies. Strat, you know, uh, guitar cable, cloth, strap box, Allen key, whatever. And then got a manual here. Or is this, is this a manual? Or is that a... I don't even know. I mean, it could be a manual, or it could be like a warranty sheet, whatever, I don't care. And of course, keys are in case. But yeah. So, let me just take the guitar out. And we'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison with the Mexican V4s, V4 Jazzmaster. So, hold on, let me move the case away so I can lay them both down. Okay. All right. So here they are. So obviously one black, one white. One's American made, one's uh, Mexican made. Really cool, both with lock and tuners. I'm trying to figure out, is the, is the headstock the same or But yeah, so 
again, Maple Neck, Ebony Fretboard. No inlays. Same thing, Ebony Fretboard, Maple Neck, but now you got the block inlays. And of course, the binding, whereas this one has no binding. Uh, but this is, as I said earlier, 12 inch, full 12 inch radius. This is a compound radius, 12 to 16. Both mahogany, obviously, both the same, volume, volume knob, three ways selector, hard tail bridge. So the, the biggest difference being the pickups. Uh, personally, and you guys know I have like almost all the gym, you know, one of each gym guitars now, so I've tried both the 8160 and Demonyms, and I gotta say, I do prefer the, the Demonyms. So I might get another set and, you know, Put it in this jazz master as well but uh i do like this emgs though like the ones on my other guitars are like a black emg 8160 but this is like a shiny silver you know chrome whatever you call it and you know it does look good you know it does look good on this guitar but uh, i'll probably swap them out for demonyms so but yeah So here they are. Personally, for some reason, I feel like this is a bit heavier. Like it should be roughly the same, roughly the same weight because they're both same body shape, same wood. Um, in general, it's supposed to be almost the same thing, but I feel like this is a lot heavier, like really a lot heavier. Maybe it's just my mind playing games with me, I don't know. Uh, for you know the people you got both, let me know if you feel the same. But for me, I don't have a weighing scale, so I can weigh it for, for sure. But based on like just holding on my hand, this feels a lot heavier. I don't know why. But yeah, so uh, just a little quick show, you know, comparison between the two Jazz Masters now that I got both. So yeah, now I officially have one of each Jim Root guitars, you know, Squire Telly, uh, Jim Root Fender Telly, Strat, and now both the Jazz Masters. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.